Hello and welcome to the program. My name is Mark Gamble. I'm the Senior Director of Technical Marketing for OpenTex Analytics. OpenTex is, of course, the world leader in enterprise information management. It's my great pleasure today to present the Election Tracker 16, a whole new way to follow the presidential election. And it's also a great example of the power of EIM. We'll briefly explore the application, of course, but more importantly, we'll delve into how the application was created and how it serves as a showcase example of OpenText's strengths in unstructured data analytics. So what exactly is Election Tracker? Uh, the Election Tracker 16 is an online application that allows users to visually monitor, compare, and discover interesting facts about the 2016 U.S. election coverage from the world's top online news agencies. So raw text from thousands of online news articles are collected over have been collected, actually, over several months' time. And they've been coalesced into meaningful and visual, highly interactive dashboards that we've created, summarizing the news agencies, candidates, topics, and tone of the coverage. So before we move into the technology underneath the election tracker, let's explore the user experience for a moment. We really want to stress here that uh, the source of the data is really what we're uh, emphasizing. This is news media coverage as a data source. So the app helps you understand election candidates, issues, and trends as reported by the news media. These are not poll results. They are actual articles from online sources. Users can gain extra insight and context from the tone and sentiment that's typically hidden in the news. So you can see how your candidate is performing in what is arguably the most important race of the White House, media coverage. Features such as candidate or topic comparison also offer a high level of interactivity for users to pursue their areas of interest. So Election Tracker 16, I mentioned, has been collecting news articles since late last year and will continue to collect news throughout the election season. We really want to stress that you should bookmark the site and visit often. See what the media reaction is to major events and track the performance of your candidate all the way to November. So because you can use the application for yourself, there's really no need for me to do a comprehensive demo. But let's take a quick look at the user experience from a feature perspective. All right. The Election Tracker is a web application that's hosted in the cloud. And the UI is modeled as an infographic, displaying a summarization of sentiment and mentions for candidates and topics across dozens of news agencies and thousands of political articles. So the home page depicts news coverage of the election as a whole across news agencies and articles, and summarizing total articles and sentiment, as well as trends over time in these interactive data visualizations. For example, users can choose to see key stats for the last 30, 60, or 90-day increments or view the sum of total articles to date. If we click the uh, keyword trends, we launch a, a very clever visual. This is a word cloud visualization predicting predominant keywords over the past several months. And if we play this visualization, we can actually see the keyword trends over time. So this home page uh, also ranks candidates and topics in order of mentions, as well as displaying the top news agencies in terms of article count. So each visualization also offers filtering, allowing users to see the information in specific ways that they might find more interesting. So lots of, uh, of interactive features here. To delve deeper into details for any candidate or topic, simply click or tap the visualization which I'll do here. In this case, this takes us to a page of stats about that candidate. The candidate page also measures mentions and sentiment specific to the candidate and shows their historic mentions and current list of associated election topics. The app also allows for this nice novel feature of comparison. So we can simply select the candidates that we wish to compare, put them up on the screen side by side, and tap the Compare button. So the comparison page gives a running tally of mentions and sentiment for each candidate uh, across topics in this side-by-side -side comparison chart visualization. And it makes it easy to see who leads in mentions for any given topic. If we want to change comparison, we can do so on the fly. Highly interactive capabilities here. 
So this comparison page, uh, again, gives that uh, interactive uh, feature a nice touch of disseminating this information. And um, really, uh, we feel that the uh, experience is best uh, seen live. So we want to make sure that everybody visits, of course, electiontracker.us. And you can actually play with this application for yourself. So with that, let's go back to the presentation and take a look under the covers. What's really going on underneath? So the first piece of the puzzle underneath the covers of this application is in harnessing the power of open text InfoFusion to retrieve and process the raw text from news articles. InfoFusion is open text information access platform, which it really offers the capability to discern the context of and create metadata from raw text contained contained in any digital source, especially raw text that's in unstructured sources, such as email or instant messaging or document archives, very common business assets. InfoFusion, in this case, processed the raw text from these news articles and provided the context and mess metadata that was necessary for this, this analysis that we saw in the app. So the next step was to visualize the data and context gleaned from the articles. To do this, we use the Analytics Information Hub, or iHub. iHub is the industrial strength data visualization deployment mechanism that sits at the heart of the election tracker. So all of the interactive data visualization lives on and is powered by the iHub. So the development team designed the visualization using the analytics designer, then inserted them into the election tracker UI, leveraging the iHub JavaScript integration API or uh, JS API. And this resulted in the application that you're enjoying today. So let's actually sort of depict the flow of events. What is, how does that progress? This diagram kind of maps it out nicely. So let's kind of go through the steps. So first, of course, we decided on uh, uh, a several set of uh, online media news agencies. Uh, we started with 48. Actually, that count is uh, uh, up above 50 at this point. So we regularly crawl the web using OpenText InfoFusion, which is the mechanism that retrieves the election-focused news articles from the media agencies. So next, raw text from those articles is processed by InfoFusion to determine the sentiment and extract the people, places, and topics and basically form, again, that metadata that's very necessary to depict it in analytic visualization. Then the team got to, to work building out those visual summaries, all of the interactive charts and visualizations that we saw, which were housed on the iHub and ready for deployment. We had some very talented web developers that built the front end user interface. That's just a standard uh, web application in which we inserted all of those visualizations uh, utilizing, again, that JavaScript API. And then lastly, users are enjoying that uh, interactive analytic experience that we saw moments ago. So let's actually take a peek under the curtain to see how this happens. Because, um, you know, while the InfoFusion piece in this uh, the puzzle is automated and behind the scenes, there is a way that we can actually sort of see how it works in concept. So now that we're back at my sharing screen, we're taking a look at an InfoFusion feature called Content Analytics. This is the mechanism that specifically performs the task of extracting data from the raw text and classifying context and sentiment. And uh, this is just a visual representation of the process that happens. So what I'm going to do actually in real time Let's go and just grab some random text from the Internet. Here I've just gone to Yahoo Politics. We see an article on Ben Carson. I'll go ahead and just copy this right in real time. And I'll go straight to the top. And uh, we'll grab that. I'm going to paste this into this window. And next, I'll click Analyze Text. And as we look at this, and you know, this is raw text. This doesn't look like data to me. So let's see what InfoFusion makes out of it. So we analyze it and look at this wealth of information that's been extracted utilizing the content, content analytics feature. So we can see the topics that have been automatically extracted. 
government, cinema, presidential elections. We can see entities. Jay Farrow, this was about SNL. He does a pretty funny impersonation of Ben Carson. We see Ben Carson there, Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa. The caucus is coming up. We also see concepts, presidential candidate, Pharaoh, neurosurgeon. And then, of course, sentiment has been applied. So we have that valuable context of sentiment. And it also gives and uh, discerns overall uh, summarization of these findings. So that's uh, the, the piece that content analytics facilitates. So as we for, sort of fast forward, say that this process is happening at a dizzying speed against thousands of articles every day. And that information is then turned into meaningful representation utilizing the analytics designer. So I'll switch over to uh, the designer where we actually applied representation of that data. So to show this is behind the scenes, the analytics designer where we have access to that metadata. Here we're doing counts of mentions broken out by negative, positive, neutral, candidate, party, weak, etc. And we're from there we just uh, go ahead and apply some parameters so that users can choose or the page itself can choose from a given candidate or a given media agency. And here we see one of the charts. So of course these were then inserted back into the application. So that's where we come back full circle into the app that we see. And in fact, uh, here's that chart that I was just showing you moments ago in the designer. So from there, let's go back for some wrap up and uh, sort of bring this thing uh, home to roost. So what's really going on here? Well, the election media analysis that we're seeing is a working example of unstructured data analysis unstructured data and analytics. This is key. It's an increasingly common business requirement across all industries. Modern digital organizations are looking to their unstructured data to make business decisions, such as determining customer sentiment or cooperating with discovery requirements or personalizing their products for customers. These organizations face fundamental challenges as traditional databases and data visualization tools only deal with structured data. So open text strengths in natural language processing, which we saw live in person, and data visualization, which is resident in the application, provides the solution with InfoFusion and iHub at the core. So when we consider the potential of the unstructured data analytics solution beyond the election tracker application, a whole new array of business use cases are enabled. So imagine marketing analysts who want to analyze social content and understand customer sentiment towards their products and services will be able to visualize positive or negative trends in real time. Online social apps such as Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Flickr, you name it. These can all be used as sources of data and even merged with structured data from CRM systems and relational databases, building valuable insight into the general public tone and opinion of your brand. Or imagine the legal analyst who needs to quickly understand the context and sentiment of large volumes of legal briefs, often numbering in the thousands of documents. These are PDFs, Word, Excel, HTML, you name it. They'll be able to review visual summaries of mentions and tone about any topic, person, place, or organization contained in the text of the documents. Using interactive dashboards, the analyst can quickly classify thousands of documents at once and instantly target specific content favorable to their case. And the use cases go on. So that ends our short overview of the behind the scenes of Election Tracker 16. Again, I'm Mark Gamble, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in. And thanks for trying out the Election Tracker app. Be sure to share it with your friends, and don't forget to bookmark electiontracker.us and visit often.